Hello YouTube and welcome to another Aruba Switch configuration tutorial. So in this video we're gonna talk about OSPF. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know OSPF or uh, Open Shortest Path First protocol is one of family of IP routing protocol. Okay and it is an interior gateway protocol for the internet okay and it's used to distribute ip routing information through a single autonomous system so here i'm not going to uh, go in details about the theory about uh, ospf you can find a lot of videos on the internet that explain that in depth okay but you have only to know that OSPF protocol is a link state routing protocol which means that the router exchange topology information with their nearest neighbors okay so the topology actually information is flooded through the autonomous system okay so here as you can see on this topology i have a couple of uh, pcs actually i have two pcs and the main goal is to ping this PC here on the right side from the PC on the left side, okay? And as you know here, those PCs are on different subnets, okay? But we have also to configure actually these two routers, these two Aruba switches or actually layer two switches or you can consider them as routers, okay? with OSPF in order to exchange this information so PC1 can ping PC2, okay? So first of all, let me show you the config of this PC1. So here, if I do show IP, you can see that I have configured this PC1 with the IP address that 20.2, okay? And also I configured the gateway as the 111 interface of Aruba switch 1 okay and I do the same on PC2 so let's go on PC2 show IP you can see it has a different IP address in different subnet which is 172.16.1.2 okay and also I configured its gateway as the IP address of the interface 111 on router 2 okay so now that the, our uh, two PCs has been configured with IP addresses and get away we can move on to our Aruba layer 3 actually switches okay so if I go to switch 1 and if I do, for example, show interface briefs, just to show the interface that are up. So here, actually, as you can see, I activated interface 111 and 112, okay? So they are both up and enabled, okay? We can also take a look at IP addresses. If I do the command show IP interface brief. So with this command, you will see the IP addresses that I have configured for this both interfaces. So for the interface 111, which is the gateway of the PC1, I have configured the IP address 10.251.20.1, okay? And also I configured interface 112 with 192.168.1.1, so it can actually reach the other Aruba layer 3 switch on the other hand okay so those are the two IP addresses that I have configured on this first Aruba layer 3 switch okay and if I do actually show or run to, to see the config of OSPF you can see that I have no OSPF configuration yet okay so let's move on now to the other switch which is Aruba second switch and if I do the same show IP interface brief you can see also that I have configured 
a couple of IP addresses. So I configured the IP address for the interface 111, which is 172.16.1.1, which is the gateway of PC2. And also I configured the IP address for the interface 112, which is, as you can see here, 192.168.1.2 in order to reach actually switch one okay so now that uh, our two switches has been configured with IP addresses but still now I have configured no OSPF configuration and as you can see if I try to ping from PC1 to PC2 so let's ping IP address of uh, the second switch which is 192.16.1.1.2.1.2 you can see that this PC can actually ping its gateway which is that one is that one but for the 172.16.1.2 the destination rate network is unreachable okay so PC1 cannot ping PC2 okay so now let's move on to our router to configure them with this dynamic protocol OSPF in order to allow PC1 to ping PC2 so you can see here the configuration will be actually pretty easy so first of all let's go to the config mode with config or just configure Okay, here we go then in order to enable uh, OSPF or router 1 we enter the command router OSPF and here we have to give what we call a process ID so we can make it whatever you want so let's give it for example 1 here we go and after that you can also specify the router ID so you can give it also whatever IP address you want so for simplicity I will just give it 111 but if you don't give this router ID the system will actually allocate one for you by default okay so now that the router ID is actually entered we need uh, also a very important parameter which is the area so the area also we have to specify an area ID in decimal format so I will give it for example area 0 and both the these two routers must be on the same area okay so now you can see that our configuration has been finished we have configured actually router 1 in order to enable OSPF protocol the last step that we have to do is to actually configure the interfaces to use actually OSPF so for that we enter each interface and we enter another command so I will go for example to the interface 111 here we go then we enter the command IP OSPF then here we specify the ID that we actually entered in the first step which is in our case 1 then also the area which is in this case 0 and that's it we have configured interface 1 for SPF so let's now do the same for interface 112 so I will go to interface 112 here we go and I will enter the same command OSPF IP OSPF 1 area 0 and now everything is done everything is actually configured in this router 1 okay so I will do the same thing actually in router 2 so let's move on to router 2 and I will go to our config mode here we go then I will uh, enable OSPF, router OSPF and here I will give the same process ID which is 1 then we have to specify router ID so for this router 2 I will enter just 222 for example 
and the final step is the area so remember we have entered area 0 for router 1 so we'll do the same for router 2 so now all we have to do is to configure IP OSPF for both interface 111 and 112 so I will go to interface 111 and I will enter the IP OSPF then the process ID which is 1 then the area which is 0 and I will do the same on interface 112.112 here we go then I will do the same command and now everything is done okay so let's return back to our uh, router one and execute some troubleshooting OSPF commands in order to see if everything is okay okay so the first command that actually you can do is to show IP OSPF interface brief so you can see here with this command all the interfaces that participate in OSPF actually uh, protocol so here we have two interfaces 111 and 112 okay and as you will learn when you are executing OSPF protocol it's actually established what we call agencies with our routers our neighbor routers as I have told you in the beginning of this video so in order to see the OSPF neighbors for this router one for example I will execute show command show IP OSPF neighbors here we go and normally you can see that our neighbor here for router one I have only one switch which has as an ID as we have entered to two to two okay and here the state is full broadcasting here and the IP address of this neighbor as you can see here is 112 and it's on the interface 112 okay so it's also a very interesting command that you can use in order to see all your neighbors okay but the most important thing for the PC1 to reach actually PC2 this router 1 must have on its routing table the path to reach this PC2 so let's verify that show IP route to see if indeed has actually got the path to reach this uh, network here from from router 2 using OSPF and indeed as you can see here this line here so this line here is very important it shows us that it can actually reach this network here 172.16.1.0 slash 24 and the next hop will be this router 2 and here you can see the origin is O and if you go here you can see that O means it has actually learned this network from the OSPF protocol as you can see here so we can actually reach now uh, PC2 from PC1 using as next hop this router 2 okay so let's verify the same thing or router 2 if it has actually got the path to reach this network here 10.25.20.2 from router 1 so I will go here to router 2 and I will execute command show IP route and you can see it has actually on its routing table the path to reach actually this network here so both PCs can ping each other actually and the ping will be successful and of course here you can also show the IP OSPF neighbors if you want to see the neighbors of this router 2 so in this case it will be router 1 here we go so we have its ID we have the interface from which it can reach it okay 
and finally you can test the ping so in the first of uh, before configuring OSPF we didn't have uh, actually a path to the network to other network but now hopefully it will actually have a path so it can actually ping PC2 from PC1 and the same thing can happen for PC2 it can actually ping PC1 here we go actually it's that one not that one here we go we have actually path to reach this PC1 from PC2 so we have successfully configured our two layer 3 switches Aruba switches in order to allow this network to reach the other network and vice versa so that was just a brief video to show you how to configure OSPF on actually Aruba layer 3 switches as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye